I understand these chicks from the South are fake and everything and whatnot, but Amaro Lanegra may be the fakest person in the industry since Megan Thee Stallion and Black China. But here's the thing. I'm going to play for you some videos that she posted on Instagram. Yes, she lost that baby that she was having with that guy. However, now she's pregnant again with twins. In other words, she didn't learn her lesson. And she's single, so she's going to be a single mom, just like her mom. But at least she has money. And at least she has her mother to control her and to be in her mind and to scare men away allegedly her mother <laughs> anyways click the thumbs up button subscribe choose all notifications say hi in the comment section right now while you listen to these videos i'll be back after her ridiculous commentary where i will give my detailed opinion on her ridiculousness and stupidity and ignorance thumbs up comment subscribe choose all notifications the links to my other two channels are in the description box make sure you subscribe to all three after this video i am single by the way uh, however, Love and Hip Hop was filmed months ago. So there's things that you guys may see on the next episode that that is no longer happening. That is no longer there. Ding, ding, ding. But, um, but I am single. Am I ready to mingle? Probably not right now. Or shit, why not? Fuck it. Life goes on, and, I, and I'm like, you know what? I keep it moving, normal. Like, who said you have to wait? You better not come over right now, shit. I'm about to go to sleep. But definitely have to come over so we can talk. Pero I am single. Later on, maybe I'll be ready to mingle. Pero I feel like... So here's my thing. I feel like once you finish a relationship... Who's there a guidebook? Is there a book? Is there something that says that you have to wait a certain period of time? Como que somebody died? Why I gotta wait? Why I gotta wait? Why do I have to wait when for the most part that other person is probably already fucking? And that's, and that's usually for women. A lot of people have all these stigmas and all this pressure for women when it comes to like breakups. When you break up with somebody, you have to take your time and you have to just sit there and be depressed and cry and be like oh my god the world is over and nobody's ever gonna love me again and you're supposed to like marinate in your mind of all the things that could have been and aren't and in the meantime the other person already fucking sticking their dick already and somebody else all the way blah, 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 deep down in their throat and don't say why i gotta be over here i'm gonna get depressed and suffering no one problem solution the shit is over keep it pushing next yeah we weren't born together. We're not family. Nothing like that. Why you have to be over here like get sad and dying and falling apart while everybody else is sucking dick and fucking eating ass? I don't get it. So me personally, no. If I break up with someone, if I break up with someone, if I break up with somebody, not if somebody broke up with me. If somebody broke up with me, maybe I'll be hurt for like two days, three days. Maybe if I really loved you, like a week. Oh my God, I'm so, oh, the world is falling apart. I can't believe this shit happened. All right, cool, next. So what are we going to do? Because life goes on. Life goes on. People sitting over here getting depressed and letting their life go by and all this shit while this other person's already fucking and sucking ass and dick and doing whatever the fuck it is that they're doing. And they probably weren't already doing it while they were with you. Mira. Keep it pushing. That's why I love me some J-Lo. J-Lo no tiene tiempo para esa mierda. Jennifer Lopez doesn't have time for that shit, and I admire her. Jennifer Lopez doesn't have time for that shit, and I admire her for it. Problem, solution. And you recycle them if you want. You, I did it you five years ago. You still sing already? Dale, I remember the way you ate my ass. Bam, let's go back. Yeah, live your life. Everybody's so busy trying to be perfect and trying to, como, como te digo, like, live this life with somebody else. So that you can fit for somebody else and the world and society doesn't see you thinking you're a whore. I don't give a fuck if you, I don't, I don't care what you think. First of all, first of all, if you think some type of way about me, that sounds like a personal problem to me. Cause I think, I think perfect about me. I don't have a problem with me. If you have a problem with me, that sounds like a personal problem to, that's personal. So that's, no problem tuyo. that's your problem. That's not mine. I feel fine. Oh, I think you're a bitch. I think you're a whore. Bueno, mi amor, you have the rest to think. That's why you have a brain. Use it. Dale, go think. Pero me, I'm living my life. I'm young. I'm beautiful. I'm successful. I'm a bad bitch. I can, I can suck hella dick. My pussy's tight. 
the fuck? I made my own money. I don't depend off anybody. I'm a good daughter. I'm a good friend. Why the fuck I have to be over here? They get depressed. They go, oh, my life is going to fall apart for anybody. No, no, no. I wasn't born stuck to anybody. I was born by myself. Thank God my mom put me by myself. But that's it. Fuck out of here. No, no, no. Who the fuck is doing this? Now, if I really love you, whatever, whatever, and you broke, if you broke up with me, usually if I break up with somebody, that means I've, I've already been, been over you. Because I'm a Libra, first of all. I'm a Libra. I'm out of a peace and love to the universe. I'm a fixer. That's why I be trying to, you know, fix a nigga. Once again, a woman who's pregnant with two babies after having a miscarriage is sitting around talking about the guy that I was just dealing with is probably with somebody else allegedly. So therefore, you know, I, I should probably go ahead and go out and start dating too, even though I suffered a miscarriage not that long ago and I'm pregnant with two babies right now. And I'm not worried about this co-parenting situation that I'm about to walk into and the fact that I came from a single person home, a single parent home. No, what I'm concerned with is who he's dating, what he's doing, and whether or not I can keep up with him, whether or not I can compete with him. This is why I'm marrying, I don't know what the type of woman I'm going to marry is, but she would definitely be non-black, whether she's Asian, white, something, like a white or mulatta, Latina from Brazil, Puerto Rico, wherever. But this, I can't, I can't deal with this crap. This woman is pregnant with twins and she's on the internet complaining, crying, and trying to get basically people to come to her side and say, yes, Amara, go out there and do something stupid. What if you end up giving something to the babies or one of the babies? You know what I mean? Like you're, you're just sitting around thinking about getting your jollies off when you just did that. Here you are pregnant with the, the excuse me, not the child, the children of a man who you're not with, who doesn't want to be with you. Who you were on a reality TV show with and having so much turmoil in, your, turmoil in your relationship that it was basically a novella. It was a soap opera. Your mother's in the house and she's having issues with your daddy who wasn't there. And then your mother is, is, is all up in your business with your man again. You allegedly suffer quote unquote colorism. However, you also got a million, excuse me, multi-million dollar contract with a major record label. So much colorism that they gave you millions of dollars and you can't even sell records. You had to go get into real estate. However, colorism. Only three people quote, no, four people quote, made it from Love & Hip Hop. Only four. Cardi B, K. Michelle, Amara La Negra, and Remy Ma, two out of four of those women are dark skin. Then you have K. Michelle, who's brown skin, and you have Cardi B, who's a light skin, pretty mixed, exotic Latina. But this is the thing, though: three out of four, three quarters of the people who actually made it from Love and Hip Hop are are black, are black women and not light skin. And half of them are dark skin. And you got chicks like Rennie Rucci, who's a light skin chick who can't sell any records that nobody cares about the music of. They had to go do love and hip hop and light skin Keisha, who's not really light skin. She's actually kind of like light brown skin. But anyways, the point is this though. <laughs> These other people can't even sell records or whatnot. Trina can't sell records. Nobody gives a dang about Trina. Now that she lost the freaking radio show with Trick Daddy, it's like, who cares about Trina? The point of <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is this though. You guys cry about crap like colorism that isn't real, not at least not in America, when people like this are getting multi-million dollar record deals. Actually, I, I take that back. Colorism is real, but it actually negatively affects my beautiful yellow bones and red bones and whatnot. And they're being mentally turned out by chicks like Amara and Spice. Oh, I forgot Spice. Spice is a big, a huge artist in Jamaica. Where people listen to the music that she makes. That's where the market is. And guess what? Colorism. Why? Because they said so. But anyways, I'm just so incredibly tired of all of this. Feel sorry for me. Everybody, you know, you, you need to take away time from your life and whatever you're doing for yourself and your family and whatnot and come and pay attention to me and, and basically sulk and feel sorry for me and cry for me because of some fake crisis. Oh, you know, I, I don't want people to look at me as a whore or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Just this foolishness, just stupid. Always some sort of cry wolf situation where there's always somebody after them come save the princess super mario brothers you know what let princess peach save herself because she's an idiot always in danger of herself you know in that video game super mario brothers where it's like the uh, the dinosaurs or whatever they were they would like capture the princess and then you had to like go save no save yourself because why are you putting yourself in those situations this stuff just exists in a lot of these chicks minds it's like they really really seriously think they have it worse than men and it's all made up they're like you know these double standards but yeah there sure are double standards ask rick ross and cardi b about double standards remember when he lost his contract with that company over some lyrics 
but Cardi B got paid millions. He lost millions. She made millions. He rapped about something that she talked about doing. He literally rapped about it while she literally confessed to doing it. So she can commit the crime, not do the time. He can rap the rhyme and then basically lose his contract as if he committed a crime. And Cardi B sits around all the time acting as if somebody's coming for her because she's a female, which has nothing to do with anything. And rap is considered to be extremely competitive. Men have had the battle since the 80s. If not before then, well, the more public battles started in the 80s, but people were battling all of the time. It's always been a, a battle in rap. And then women turn it into some, oh, they're comparing us. Fe Do you not? Uh, male rappers get compared all of the time. J. Cole versus Kendrick. Drake versus Kendrick. Kanye West versus Drake. LL Cool J versus Cannabis. Big Daddy Kane versus KRS-One. LL Cool J and Cool Mo D. Ja Rule versus 50 Cent. Wu Tang Clan versus Outkast. Which one is the greatest rap group of all time? Yes, in hip hop, you get compared all of the time. But then the female rappers are like, oh, we're tired of being compared and pitted against each other. That's just the way it is, period, for everybody. The only difference is that the female rappers get to walk out alive, which the male rappers don't a lot of the times. Female rap beef gets laughed at and then everybody goes home. Male rappers, huh? Eh, might lose your life, buddy. Very competitive music market. And then we get to hear these chicks cry about how hard it is for them. And it's all made up, all in their heads. It's not real. Just like all of these fake double standards. Women are out there doing all sorts of incendiary crap. And then bragging about it. Yeah, and we cheat better than men do. Whoa, wait a second. I thought you said that you get judged for every little thing that you do. What do you think? That we think that you girls are a bunch of virgins or something? Look at the out of wedlock birth rate. The church going chicks of today have higher body counts than the street walkers of the past. So what in the world are you talking about? When Danielle Bregoli, aka Bad Baby, turned 18, she went and opened an OnlyFans page that week. Malu, same thing. The, the week they turned 18. Society is not holding women back from being loose. Where does this crap come from? The media told you, oh, society's going to judge you with this, that, and the third. Listen, you guys brag all of the time about how you cheat better than men do. That should tell you everything right there. You guys are full of crap. It's just completely inconsistent babble. Just all made up. You're pregnant with two kids. Go sit down. You're pregnant already. You should be worried about getting your life together and figuring out what you're going to do as far as marrying someone. Whether you get back with that guy that you were with or one of your exes, Shay's brother, who you were with. Or I guess he dodged a bullet with you. Or some other guy. So your children have a father in the house. Unlike you. Because your mother didn't pick the right guy. I don't know if the relationship that she had with them was her fault, his fault, or both of their faults. The only thing that I know is that I see the way that your mother middles and meddles in your relationships with men. And I'm going to have to say at least some of the blame for her own failed marriage was <laughs> was based on what she was doing or not doing or a combination of both when she was in a relationship with your father. And it's pretty obvious because of the fact that I, I just see the way that she is all up in your business and doesn't have any business of her own. Who is your mother dating? Why does she get back with your daddy? I mean, the man looks like Dominican Dr. Dre. I mean, how cool is that? Get him some Beast by Dre headphones and what? She can pretend that she's with a billionaire. Now, of course, I'm just being stupid saying that. But the point is this to Amara. Nobody's holding you back. And that's hold with a capital ho. Nobody's stopping. It. Nobody's putting a chastity belt on you women. You chicks have a basketball rim between your thighs and you're still telling lies. Like, I can't have sex with a lot of these chicks after dunk. Because the hole is just, you know what, let me stop. Long story short. You chicks are full of it. Absolutely full of it. Nobody's trying to stop y'all from doing anything. That's the problem. We need to go. <laughs> y'all need some hands made and tail type of <laughs> energy and actions to be taken. You chicks need a chastity belt and you need one of them old school Amish or Mennonite looking outfits. You need, you need to look like you're, <laughs> you're at, on the prairie, little house on the prairie. Because y you chicks are just really out there wilding out, just doing too much. You've been given so much freedom that you get to sit up there and lie and say that people are stripping it, stripping it from you. No evidence at all whatsoever. Just tell a lie. You're like, hey, you know, us women are being held back and told that we can't open our legs. A pregnant woman, you guys. I bet Amber Rose would be proud. But anyways, click the thumbs up button. Click thumbs up right now. Subscribe to all three channels. The links to my other channels are in the description box. So thumbs up, comment subscribe choose all notifications so let me know you made it all the way to the end of this video the secret password to say in the comment section is a shame why a shame 
because why is a pregnant woman even having a discussion rather making videos like this and posting them on the internet like what does she accomplish by running around pregnant i think she did a photo shoot with like people like people's magazine or whatever and it's like dude Excuse me. Here you are doing maternity photo shoots and making videos online complaining about how you want more penis. Talk about no shame. As a matter of fact, a shame or no shame. Two passwords, whichever one you want to use. Click the thumbs up button, subscribe, choose all notifications.